Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we are so privileged. We are so excited. This one who are making history because the Holy Ghost is here. And he's in the person of uh, he came with the wife. In the person of Apostle Eric Nyameche. Hallelujah. Why don't you stand up for us and stand in obeisance? Shall we rise? Shall we rise? Shall we rise? If you want to clap, let's clap very well. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Keep on standing for just one second as we clap for the Lord. Let's clap for the Lord. It should be louder than this one. 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 Hallelujah. You may be seated. And the wife, and the wife, Mrs. And the wife, Mrs. Mary Nyamiche. She's also with us. And if we have to build the church to last, we need to be mindful of tomorrow's church. Now, where is Apostle Ander? Please come. And then come with Elder. Elder has been a blessing. Yeah. The two of them. Uh founding members of this church. I'm not going to ask any of them how old yeah, you are. Yeah. But we are building the church against tomorrow. So this is where we are going. They started a church. When you started, how old were you? Not You see, he's an old man. He has even forgotten the, the <laughs> around. I was around 30, 32. 32, 39. You have done a lot. But we can't carry them into the future. No. We can't. If you are going to carry them into the future, there are certain things that they will never be able to do. And the young people will not continue to follow them. That is why we retire people. Yeah. You need to retire them so you'll be able to carry the young people into the future. Have I communicated? Yeah. Please sit down. Or you, want, you still want to go 10 years more? <laughs> yeah, please sit down. That is why we retire people. Because we need to carry the young people along. So when you come to church and the youngsters come, receive them just as they are. And train them to be able to become like Jesus. I'm not saying that when they come in any kind of color. I'm saying receive them. But put the Jesus color on them. And then carry them along into the future. Because the future is this. We need to build this church to last. There was this elder that I met some time ago. He presided me. He was my presiding elder. So you can imagine. When I met him, he was with his pastor. And then he said to me, that I should impress upon the pastor so that the pastor will review him from the presiding eldership. Uh, he said for, for too long, cons, uh, cons, consistently, he has been a presiding elder for 25 consecutive years. Yeah, consecutive years like that. He has never been reviewed. And so I was wondering why that happened. It shouldn't have happened. And I remembered what happened some years ago. Some young men were dancing in church. Those days, the reggae music has just been introduced into the church. And the elderly folks were not too comfortable. Because reggae was Bob Marley. And the young men, when 
they, they, they love to jump to the same tune. And so reggae music was being played in the church. And then this young man just took to the floor and they started jumping. But the pastor couldn't read the, temp- the, ter- the temperature well. He just took his bell. Those days, we had a big bell. And whilst the young men were still in their tracks dancing, he rang the bell, he shouted on them, he embarrassed them, and asked them to go and sit them. Eleven of them. I was far away in my first station, and I heard this. So I quickly came down to look for them because they had all left the church. See, what young people do not like is embarrassment. They can't take that one. So because of the embarrassment, out of anger, their leader let them out. And you must always look for their leader. They have leaders. You have presiding elders. They also have their leaders. Look, look for them. And then make sure that you are always with the leader. Bring the leader in. They will follow the leader. They left the church. So I decided to go and then look for them. But it was just too late. I managed to bring just a few. See, those young men were supposed to have taken over from this presiding elder. If they were still around, he wouldn't have served for that long. But because these ones left, there was a gap. And so we need to build this church to be very strong. We also need to build it to last. And then, the most interesting one is that we need to build this church to spread. But I'll leave that for next week. Let me take this last quotation. E. Pinto said, and I quote, Do you have E. Pinto's quotation? Yeah. Can we read together? Ready, go. The society that hates its youth has no future. Any society that hates its young people has no future. I pray that the Lord will help us so that we will be able to reorganize our thoughts and our hearts as we intend to build this church to be strong. And we want to build this church to also last. And we want to build it to spread. God bless all of us. We are building up the church of God to be steadfast and strong. Oh, we are building up the church of God to be steadfast and strong. Oh, by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the preaching of the word and by prayer. Oh, we are building up the church of God to be steadfast. We are, we are building up the church of God to be. Oh, yes, we are building up the church of God to be. Oh, by the power, by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the preaching of the word and by prayer. Oh, we are building up the church of God to be. We are building, we are building up the church of God to be steadfast. We are building, we are building up the church of God to be steadfast. Oh, by our godly, by our godliness and our faithful. Oh, by our devotion and our giving. Oh, we are building up the church of God to be Oh, by our godly, by our godliness and our faithfulness, by our devotion and our giving. Oh, we are built at the church to be. Oh, yes, we are building up the church of God to be. Oh, we are, we are building. Oh, by our godly, by our godly, 
bless them, our faithfulness, by our devotion and our we are, we are building up the church of Holy Spirit, oh, preaching of the word, we are, we are built a church of God to be by our, by our godliness and our faithfulness, by our devotion and our king, oh, we are building up the church to be oh, by our godly, by our godliness and our faithfulness by our devotion and our need. We are, we are building up the church of God to be set past and sure. I just want to thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you. Lord, I just want to thank, thank you, thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, thank you, oh Lord. Oh, I thank, I thank. By the grace of God, everything is successful. We give you all the glory and honor for everything that you started yesterday, the funeral, and by the grace of God, everything that you have done is successful. May your name be praised. May your name be honored. Thank you once again for the word that, Father, you spoke through your servant. Father, we thank you for the blessings through the word. We worship you and honor you. We are praying, oh God, this afternoon, committing our lives into your hands. We are asking for your grace, the grace that can take the word and walk in the word. In the name of Jesus, we continue to pray that this year will be a year that each and every one who possess the land that Father you have given to us. In the name of Jesus, bless us. Fill us with your spirit. Fill us with your word. Help us and open our eyes to understand whatever Father your servants will give us. We commit our lives to you, O oh God, once again. As we are living, we are praying that your presence will go with us, will be with us wherever we go. We ask this in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen.